Gypsy. We are going to the big gym today. We're gonna do a crazy ass push day. We're gonna get big today. We're gonna get even bigger. Bigger than bigger. I'm gonna be so big that my muscles peak. They're gonna get a mind of their own. My muscles are gonna get the mind of their own. Y'all look both ways before you cross the roads. But, uh, we got some pastel ghost playing. I love it. Anyways, enjoy the ride. We're on the way. preparing yourself before the gym bro you're doing something wrong if you're not taking the time in your car just to like realize you're about to live you're not getting yourself into that mindset bro you're not gonna be ready you're gonna go in there and just be half-assed because you weren't meant to prepare for it bro but lifting it's it may be a physical thing but it's also a mental thing bro you can't just go into the gym and not be ready to work out you gotta be ready you gotta know your goals you want to review your goals before you go inside if you don't then you're gonna stay the same. You're gonna go train with the subpar mindset and then you're not gonna get shit done. Progress is slow. Progress is something that you have to grind for. And it's not gonna come overnight. It's not gonna come immediately. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take tweaking. It's gonna take adjusting your goals. It's gonna take a lot. And whoever's gonna stop you, tell them to F off, okay? Tell them that. Tell them, hey bro, this is my life, not yours. People who bring down people when they chase their goals, those are the people who don't chase their goals. And those are the people who are lazy and are sacks of shit, bro, and don't achieve nothing in life because they're lazy. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna bring you down by talking down your goals, by talking down on your passion. They're gonna tell you, damn, what the hell? That's never gonna work out. Nah, you go find a way to make it work out. And if it doesn't work out, keep trying. I'm gonna show y'all, keep trying. One day, we're gonna make it. We're all gonna make it. It takes time. It takes dedication, it takes art, it takes practice, it takes consistency, it can takes it takes everything. It sometimes takes everything you got. But that's if that's how badly you want it, bro, if that's how badly you want it, go chase after it. Don't let anyone stop you. Keep being consistent, keep trying, and never give up. If you hear me, I want you to go out there right now today and come in with a better mindset and say you're gonna do this, do that. I don't want you guys just to talk. I want you guys to do it. Talk with your actions. Don't even try to talk about it. Just do it. Do it in silence. And then just put your mind to that and just fucking execute that plan. Execute your goals and what you try to achieve today. If not, then so what? Do it again tomorrow. And if that doesn't work out, do it again. All right, let's go inside. I'm so sore. Like my shoulder is feeling it right now. Training our fucking muscles. I feel so heavy today. My shoulder's hurting. <laughs> the reason why my shoulder's hurting, bro, is because this clip right here.
goes on Best thing to do is just get better! Fish crap Scott! I'll see these. Pretty good. Um, about I think two hours in my workout, bro. I've been here for a minute, man. I don't even know what time it is right now. I lost track of time. Got here about around eight. Yeah, around eight. So, but I, our workout session so far, bro, not bad. Feels like it's been like three hours though. But yeah, I've been going ham. It's just not easy, bro. With the conditions I came in with today, bro, and I'm still conquering during this type of intensity. I'm still maintaining intensity, bro. Even no matter how my my shoulder feels, I'm not going too crazy though. Don't, don't start roasting me in the comments. I'm still being safe. And I'm still getting a good pump. And not only that, the next day I come in the gym, I'm gonna be feeling good because I didn't overtrain. So that's the thing. If you're training hard, that's good. But if you're training hard with some type of pain, bro, lower the weight. Lower the weight. It's okay. You'd rather you'd rather maintain your strength for the rest of your freaking like year ahead of you then keep overtraining it and then you're still dealing with that injury five months later and also you start getting depressed because your prs are going down your bench is going down because you didn't take that time of rest that you needed you get an injury or you feel some type of pain bro take some time off or deload that's the best advice that i could give you guys if you guys don't deload you ain't gonna get better you're gonna get worse and then if you're getting worse then that momentum's gonna build up and you're gonna start getting worse and worse and worse. Anyways, let's get back to it. Hey, Goku, how would you fight against this? What if I'm just not able to handle this like you could? It's hard, isn't it? The path that you've chosen. How'd I look? Despite carrying all that conflict within yourself, insist on pushing forward and fight. All so you can protect other people's lives. Mr. Ozzy! You got it! No matter how hard that workout was just, just now, I had fun, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I had hella fun. And 
man. I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to go hit some flexes real quick before I dip. <laughs> 